Okay, so let's say you're set up for live performance. You've got Ableton Live connected to your soundboard. You've built your Ableton Live set of stems. Everything's looking great. You're ready to go. But suddenly the audio engineer you're working with says, hey, I need to, you to send your stems to me at 44.1, not 48K. And you go, oh my gosh, this is a disaster because I built everything at 48. I'm going to have to drop everything into Logic, into Pro Tools. I'm going to have to sample, convert, reload it into Ableton Live. Slow down. Not so fast, Buckaroo. Let me show you how to quickly change the sample rate of audio playback in Ableton Live. So what's great about this, I'm gonna go to Preferences in Ableton Live, that's Command Comma or Control Comma if you're on a PC, and I wanna go to the Audio tab here. Now what we're going to look at is the sample rate, uh, the in-out sample rate here. And if I click this, you'll see a dropdown of sample rates. Now like I mentioned in my hypothetical scenario, uh, my stems, my set was built at 48K. Now I'm going to select 44.1 here, and just as simple as that, I have changed the sample rate output of Ableton Live from 48 to 44.1. Now it's important to stress that by me changing this here, I did not change the inherent uh, sample rate of my stems in my set. Uh, they haven't gone through and, and up converted or down converted the sample rate of those. Those are staying the same. It's just the audio playback out of Ableton Live is now 44.1 instead of 48K. Now, uh, a couple points about this that I wanna bring up. If I go over to Ableton Live's manual here, let me pull this up online because I, I wanted to point this out. There's a whole section in the manual talking about sample rate conversion transposition. Um, and it basically, uh, Ableton stresses that uh, changing sample rate, changing pitch uh, will degrade your audio, it will cause signal degradation. I wanna stress though, that that degradation is so small that in a live performance in a situation where you really quickly need to change key, you should just go ahead and warp your audio and change key. If you're in a scenario where you really quickly need to go from 48 to 44.1, just go ahead and change your sample rate. It's gonna be perfectly fine. Now, Ableton also mentions in the manual here that they, uh, to minimize negative results during real-time playback, it's recommended to do a sample rate conversion as an offline process. And then here's another one that uh, I hear people mention often, rather than mixing files of different sample rates within a single set. That is a quote unquote best practice, but I want to share something with you that in 15 years of using Ableton Live on stage, I have never once ran into an issue that was caused by different sample rates of stems in the same live set. Um, I know best practice, all my stems, all my audio content should be the same sample rate, uh, but I'm a pretty dumb guy. I just load things into Ableton Live and I roll with them and I'm ready to go. So I think if you're using Ableton Live for live performance um, and you need to really quickly change your sample rate, just do that in Ableton Live and just roll with it. With it. If you need to change your key, just roll with it and do that. Now, if you're working with a, a project that has particularly high fidelity that's going to go on a CD or you're working with someone who's really nitpicky, then yes, maybe use an offline process to uh, sample convert, up convert, down convert your sample uh, rate and then drop it into Ableton Live. But if you're just wanting to change your sample rate, just do that in Ableton Live's preferences and call it a day. Now, the final thing I want to mention, now some audio devices, so let's change our audio device here you'll see some audio devices don't allow you to change your sample rate of Ableton Live in the program. And if you find yourself in that situation, then go to the control software for uh, your device that you're using and that's where you can change your sample rate. So for instance, if you're using a Play Audio 12, um, uh, if you're using an audio interface, in this case, I'm using a Blackmagic Designs ATEM. And in order to change the sample rate for Ableton Live, the audio playback of Ableton Live I need to go to that specific control software. Now, if you use Ableton Live on stage, if you like tips and tricks like this, I, I post a new video every single day at 10 a.m. Central, but to make sure you see it, you've got to hit the subscribe icon on this channel. And then I would highly encourage you to hit the bell icon so that you're notified when I post new content. Look at your phone if it looks like something you're interested in and click through and watch. If not, then I will catch you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching this video. Thanks for your support. And we'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.